Hey family, I wanted to bring that other message that I wanted to share with you and get this out as well. So the Lord gave me this dream the other night and it was kind of weird and a little uncomfortable what the Lord showed me in this dream, but at the same time, it's very encouraging and I definitely have to share this with you guys. So, so I, I had this dream where it started off. I was in this basement, and it was like a, it was like a city. It was an underground city, and I was riding my bike around, doing something. Then I saw some some kid bullying someone, so I went over and I stopped him. Then there was another kid that was part of this gang. And he was trying to bully me into doing something that I thought wasn't good and I didn't want to do. So I started running away to escape this, this other kid through all these different street blocks. And I then went up to some steps and came into this mall. So here we go again with the mall. And as I got into this mall, like I'm running down the mall and um, like there's more stuff that happened throughout this beginning of the dream, but the details of it, I don't really remember too much. So I'm just kind of skimming through it. So I ran, I was running through this mall and I got to where the escalators or um, you know, the escalators were. And I'm running like full speed and, and I was just being like a kid just joyful little kid so I, I ran and, and jumped and slid down the railing of the escalator which went way faster than I was expecting and like I flew off of it and almost hit the wall when I got down to the um, next floor so when I got down there I saw that there were these two men and I knew they were like security guards, like they had on these security uniforms, these black security uniforms. And they were big, they were these big dudes. And they were talking to me about something, but I, I wish I could remember what they were saying, because I know it was important, but the Lord's holding that from me for whatever reason. So then out of nowhere, like, I start fighting this guy. I'm wrestling this guy. Yeah, I don't remember why we started wrestling, but I started wrestling this guy. And, um, he, like, I, I'm, I'm grabbing him and, and flipping him over to the floor and, um, doing all these different moves on him. And he, he would just not, every time like I got him down to the floor, he would get back up and we'd go at it again. And he just wouldn't quit. So I was like, all right, well, if you're not going to quit, I'm not going to quit. So we're just going back and forth. just And I'm like trying to do all these different maneuvers and like to, uh, to subdue this guy down to the ground. Then, for whatever reason, we stopped. And there was this woman that I knew somehow... And I knew that she was going, she was either she was either going to become evil or wicked, or she already had this wickedness in her. Some type of evil wickedness was in her. Like I knew this. So I knew that I had to crush her head. So I start crushing her, right? I start crushing her head. And I had her face down on the ground with my foot on the back of her but then I noticed like she wasn't a woman anymore and she was like this blue rubber dummy and almost like a training dummy and I but I could still I, I still knew that it was a, a representative of a, a person a human being because I'm stepping on, on the head still and like the back of the neck and I'm crushing it. And I could feel the bones crunching. Sorry, it's pretty graphic. But like I could feel the bones crunching and, and then there was like blood gushed and squirted out of the back of the neck. 
And like I felt really bad doing this, but I knew that I had to do it. I knew that this had to be done. And like I could feel the life just going away from this this vessel, this being, this person, whatever. So then after that was over, I got it the scene switch and I went outside of the building and as I went outside I was on the front lawn and I saw my wife and I was walking around through all these weeds that were in the grass and like I was just I kept wanting to just pull them up uproot the weeds and rip them out and get rid of them all and then I saw that Janice was putting these these colorful strips of like liner material um and she was putting them like stacking them into this fence that was around the lawn and um like at first I saw a strip on the ground and I was wondering what she was doing I went to go pick one up and then she told me that we needed to stack them and make this fence around the lawn so at that part I'm not really sure exactly what it means yet with the color for strips, but I know the weeds obviously represent the wicked and uprooting them out of like the tares, the wheat and the tares, the tares, that's that's weeds, and um, uprooting them out of ground. So, so Genesis thirty two twenty four to twenty six says, and Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him and he said let me go for the day breaketh and he said I will not let thee go except thou bless me so this was amazing because I had just I was reading this earlier that day before I um before the night that I had this dream and I was praying I prayed this prayer specifically because I've been asking the Lord about something I've been asking him to reveal something something specifically to me and I told him that I will wrestle him and not let him go not let this go until he blesses me with it so this is why he gave me this dream about me wrestling this guy and trying to subdue him to the ground and why I just kept throwing him there to the ground, flipping him over, throwing him around, he got back up. I was like, I'm not I'm not gonna give up, I'm just gonna keep doing it. So so he actually gave me word on this too after that. Um but it's more personal so I'm not really gonna go into that. But um but it was just cool that he showed me this in the spirit through the dream of what I'm actually, what I'm doing, what I've been praying about. And, and you know, what's going on, what it looks like. So, this next part um, where I was stepping on this, this person and crushing them, this represented, as uncomfortable and graphic as it was, it represented me treading... And stepping on the enemy, subduing the enemy, crushing the enemy. So, um, one of the definitions of treading is to crush under the foot, to trample in contempt or hatred, or to subdue. Exactly what I said, what I wrote in this dream, when I wrote the dream down, was that I was trying, I was doing all types of maneuvers to subdue this guy to the ground so the Lord was giving me two meanings at the same time in this dream of when I was wrestling this guy and I was trying to subdue him he was also leading that into me subduing my enemy and that's why I switched from me wrestling this guy to then crushing this this woman um, this person on the ground treading on um, them under my foot. So Malachi 4, 3 says, And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. In the day that I shall do this, says, saith the Lord of hosts. 
So then Joshua 10, 24 to 25 says, And it came to pass when they brought out the kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel and said unto the captains of the men of war, which went with him, Come near, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near and put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed, be strong and of good courage. For thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. Then Job, oh wait, then uh, 2 Samuel 22, 38 to 39 says, I pursued my enemies and destroyed them, and I did not turn back until they were consumed. And I have devoured them and shattered them so that they did not rise and they fell under my feet. So shattering is, is the, what I felt that was happening to the skull of this person when I was crushing it. So then Job 40 verse 12 says, Look on everyone who is proud and humble him and tread down the wicked where they stand. Then Romans 16 20 which says, The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. So, amen to that. And then Psalms 2, 8 to 9 says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So I feel like this related to the fact of me seeing and feeling that this um this the woman turned into this blue rubber dummy but i still felt that there were bones and blood and stuff in it and it was being crushed broken so this was kind of like the potter's vessel and being dashed into pieces with the rod of iron so the blood gushing out the neck part this was the grapes being trampled in the great the uh, great wine press so revelation 14 19 and 20 says and the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great wine press of the wrath of god and the wine press was trodden with the great without the city and blood came out of the wine press even unto the horse bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. So this is the wicked being pulled out of the earth and thrown into the great wine press. This is them seeing the wrath of God being poured upon them and the blood being splattered, which is very graphic. But at the same time, this is for a point is for a reason God is trying to say he is serious he is not playing that all these people that have closed ears that are mocking him and scoffing at his at his anointed at his messengers at his his prophets that are taking his sheep and leading them astray by spewing out false doctrines doctrines of demons and all these false accusations just everything you know i'm not gonna go through everything that the wicked are doing right now but you know what they're doing he's saying listen i'm not playing if you guys would if this is what you want to do this is what you're going to see this is what you're going to get you're going to be crushed the enemy is going to the, the enemy's uh destiny is to be crushed to be he's already been it's already written that he's been defeated he's he will be defeated he is defeated and the lord said that he will give our enemies to us he we for our inheritance we will crush them we will see them defeated as ashes under our feet so all this stuff that you're going through right now with the enemy attacking you through other people and you know through spiritual warfare 
Don't even mind that. Keep your eyes on the Lord because we already have victory. Our enemy is crushed under our feet. We trample upon him. And that's what I say all the time. I, I sing that song all the time. Get under my feet. Get under my feet. You up under my feet. I say that all the time to the enemy, to Satan. Like, Lord, Lord knows. Lord knows. Like, I don't care what he has to do, what he throws at me. I, I trample on him. I, the, the Lord, no, he gave me, he said, behold, I have given you the authority to trample upon the snake and the scorpion and all of the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So I trample, I don't know what y'all be doing, but I trample on the enemy. I crush the enemy. So God bless you. I love you. And I'll talk with you soon.